Have you ever found yourself in that awkward situation where you're having an amazing conversation as a group at work and then suddenly it's your turn to make a contribution, all eyes are turned towards you and your brain, your mind just freezes and you struggle to articulate your thoughts. Communication is power, it has influenced you guys. And in today's episode, I'm going to share with you eight ways in which you can articulate your thoughts clearly. My name is Lorraine and if you're new to this channel then I want to invite you to click subscribe as well as the like button because I have no hesitation that you're going to enjoy this conversation. It doesn't matter what role you have, whether you're a builder, you're a carpenter, you're a business analyst or you're an accountant, communication definitely is relevant to whatever role you play. No wonder you find that in life that people who are able to articulate their thoughts tend to do more than people who are better skilled at that job. And I know it almost seems as if life is unfair. It's uh, similar to the myth of, you know, how in high school, the most intelligent person in your class, you're probably doing better than them, even though you were average in your class, because you probably have more advanced people skills, you have more advanced communication skills skills. Nowadays, I hear many people saying, oh, going to university is a waste of time because of artificial intelligence coming in. And people go as far as to use example of very successful entrepre entrepreneurs, like, um, let me think, for example, like Steve Jobs, founder of Apple. He was actually a university dropout. Or Mark uh, Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook. I think he's also a university dropout, if I'm not mistaken. And then people say, oh, I don't need to go to university uh, in order for me to be successful. But I would argue otherwise and say, when I look back to my university years, of course, I'm not proud of the thousands of dollars that I had to pay in order for me to get a great education. But my realization was that university does teach you how to think. Those years of going through rigorous study where you're studying a particular theme and then you're writing assignments and you're thinking about them and you're discussing those themes and those topics with your colleagues, it does help your mind uh, learn how to think. It helps you uh, articulate your thoughts. So if you're at that point in your life where you're like, oh, okay, should I go to university? Should I not? Then I'm just going to quickly digress and say, I think that university is definitely a powerful way of learning how to articulate your thoughts and if maybe the university uh, ship has sailed for you then maybe it can be taking a course um, it can be taking a night class and it doesn't have to be university accredited but anything that really puts your mind in a place uh, where you can learn new concepts and uh, just uh, the, just now when I was preparing this video about how to articulate your thoughts clearly I thought about Seinfeld so Seinfeld is one of the best Netflix shows ever. And apparently this show won so many awards because of how good it is. But the interesting thing about Seinfeld is that it's actually a show about nothing. When you really sit down to watch Seinfeld, you realize that Jerry Seinfeld has this art of just talking about everyday scenarios like the laundry, for example, or women's behavior when they're shopping or men's behavior when they're pursuing a girl that they like and then he analyzes this and articulates his thoughts in such a way that it's funny and it is so humorous and i remember just watching Seinfeld. i'm like he's not he's not sharing anything groundbreaking it's not like big bang theory where there's a group of really intelligent um university professors who are living in an apartment together it's not even like that. It's just a group of friends doing life together in busy New York City, if I'm not mistaken. And he's just sharing thoughts about nothing. But he does it in such a powerful way. He articulates his ideas in such a powerful way that Seinfeld has become one of the highest earning sitcoms of all time. And even though Seinfeld was filmed in the late 80s and early 90s, he still makes millions of dollars from that show every day. So it just really shows me the power of being able to articulate your thoughts. So what are the ways in which you, my friend, can become more articulate? Let's dive straight into it. The first way of becoming more articulate is definitely having a spiritual practice. 
Um, specifically, I'm talking about meditation and I know that meditation can be done spiritually or you can do it non-spiritual. So there's a non-spiritual meditation where you're just sitting there, breathing in, breathing out and really clearing your mind. I was so surprised a few years ago when I started meditating at the surprising benefits that meditation brings. Meditation brings a high level of clarity in your mind. And the reason why you need this high level of clarity is because life has become so connected and sometimes it feels cluttered because there's always so much that is happening around us. But when you meditate, you actually take that time to just center, release, and just clear your thoughts. And I know for me what it looks like nowadays is just spending time in prayer. Prayer is such a powerful way of grounding me to a power that is greater than me. And I find that it just helps to clear my thoughts and it helps me to articulate the ideas that I have. I don't know if you have a meditation practice already or a spiritual practice, but it's such a powerful way to start in you becoming articulate when it comes to your ideas and when it comes to the way in which you communicate. The second powerful way in becoming more articulate is definitely journaling. I find that there are mornings when I wake up and my mind is feeling bogged down and clunky. And a powerful way of me getting to the bottom of this is actually writing my thoughts down through journaling and just writing down what I'm thinking, what I'm not thinking, the emotions that are going under the radar. Journaling helps uh, to create perspective as well uh, in as far as how my life is going at that time. Because again, like I was saying, sometimes life can feel really connected and sometimes it can feel rushed. And journaling is a way of me just coming back down to the ground and being able to articulate my thoughts and being able to articulate my ideas clearly in that moment. Third way on becoming more articulate is definitely becoming more knowledgeable about that topic. Let's come back to that awkward scenario where you're at work, you're having a round table discussion about an amazing project that you're working on and then suddenly you just go blank. Brain fog hits your head and you're unable to articulate what it is you want to say. So how can you actually become more knowledgeable about a topic? The first thing is definitely read. Read more about that topic. So when you are in your workplace, how can you make yourself more competitive? How can you bring a competitive edge to the way in which you show up and the way you work? Definitely studying, taking the time out of work to just understand more about the work that you're doing. Because as you understand more about the work that you're doing, then it starts to form um, thought processes in your mind. You start integrating it in different ways. And as a result, you're able to really articulate what it is you want to say. And then on top of reading about that topic in order for you to become more knowledgeable, become a great listener. So again, when you're in a work setting and you're discussing that project, re be really good at listening. And the reason why I say this is the average person when someone else is talking is busy thinking, what do I say next? What do I say back? How can I sound smart? As a result, you're not really fully tuned into listening to what that person is saying. But when you actually just take a step back and become that person who's truly, truly listening in that moment, you gain so many insights from what um, from all these people's contributions. And as a result, you are able to articulate your concepts and your ideas are even better. And then lastly, on becoming more knowledgeable about that topic is take notes you know I am such an avid not taker whenever I'm in a powerful discussion that I know I have so much to learn from and of course I know let's say for me I'm an avid learner I'm that person who is always trying to learn something new but even if you're not an avid learner just take some notes during those discussions and nowadays information has become so accessible you can actually go on YouTube you can look for uh, quality peer-reviewed articles and journals and read them and as you read you're taking notes and you're getting more information on your craft 
you're getting more information on your field and what I find is that as you write that information you're not only listening to that information you're writing it and it becomes more ingrained in you and that is how someone becomes an expert on a particular topic. I was listening to this professor say that whenever you are talking or lecturing on a specific, on a particular idea, make sure you know 10 times more about that topic than what you're going to present in a meeting or what you're going to present um, uh, as a presentation at work. Make sure you know 90% times more because if you know 90% times more, then you're going to just relax and it's going to be easy for you to articulate your thoughts even better. The fourth thing is present your thoughts in a framework. So I don't know whether you've been following me for a while now because we've been really active on YouTube for the past three and a half months, I would say. And you've probably noticed that I always prevent my thoughts in a particular framework. So even now, when I'm talking about how to articulate uh, your ideas, how to articulate your thoughts clearly, you know what to expect. I've told you that I'm going to tell you eight tips. So you're sitting there and you know, you know that at the end of this video, you're going to know how to articulate your thoughts clearly. I'm going to give you eight tips on that. And if right now we're on tip number six, that means there's two more tips to go. So you're expectant. So putting your thoughts in a framework gives your audience an expectation to work from and it also keeps your audience engaged. It shows a level of maturity. It shows that you have actually taken the time to prepare beforehand and it just gives you a structure by which you can work from because if you have a framework, then you can actually just relax and let the let it flow. Um, so think about ways in which you can have a simple framework. I know that a lot of speakers will develop like, I know like Mel Robbins has the five second rule, right? And that is a framework. And I know that she has done so many speeches on that or uh, one book that I've read. I haven't read it recently, but I read it many years ago and it made such a massive difference in my life. It was um, How, uh, How Elrod is the author's name and the book is called The Miracle Morning. And in The Miracle Morning, he talks about a framework called The Savers in which you can actually organize your morning routine in that way. And I remember reading the book and thinking, this is so powerful because now I can create my morning routine using the savers framework. And again, this framework has enabled him to grow his platform to millions of followers, has sold millions of books. And to me, I'm like, how can such a simple book sell millions of dollars but people are really after simplicity and i think that having a framework enables you to have simplicity and it also gives you the added advantage of being more articulate in your thoughts number five is one that i i have i myself have been guilty of this many times so pay attention so when you are in the process of speaking to people and articulating your thoughts right Pay attention to your tone and your accentuation. So pay attention to the way your voice rises and falls because let's say if you're asking a question, then you end on a high note and then the person knows that there's a question mark there or if you're saying something that is so dramatic, then you end abruptly, right? Because there's an exclamation mark there. But paying attention to the tone dropping, going up, going high, it puts you in a situation where you're not being monotone when you're articulating your ideas. And even as you're speaking to people, you're looking into their faces and getting their that feedback, right? And if you're being monotone, there's a high chance that people are gonna be bored, they're gonna be yawning, and then this is going to make you confused you're going to doubt yourself and you'll become less articulate because of that. So pay attention to that tone of the way you're presenting your thoughts and ideas. The more you can rise and fall, depending on what it is you're saying, the more you have an engaged individual listening to you and the more articulate you become. The next one is a use, uh, instead of using filler words like um, uh, and, you know, pause you know and i find that pausing is a scary thing like in my personal experience when i'm speaking i have found that just pausing is very uncomfortable so even when i look back at some of my youtube videos the times when i'm just talking and talking and talking and i'll be like stop and breathe and my videographer always tells me like he's called arnold shout out arnold he always say lolo breathe 
it's okay for you to stop and it's okay for you to breathe so if you want to become more articulate in your communication become intentional about pausing rather than using filler words because when you pause you enable your brain to actually really form the thought think clearly before you go to the next idea. But if you're busy rambling and using filler words, you're not giving your brain enough time to actually really stop and articulate the next sentence or articulate the idea clearly. Number seven in becoming more articulate is actually being able to listen to yourself. And nowadays it's easy to do this. You can actually record yourself. I have a good friend who tends to record himself whenever he's preaching at church so that he can listen back on that conversation and you might be thinking but I don't want to listen to my own voice and I know that I used to be like this in as far as uh, recording videos on YouTube is concerned. Just this morning I went back to watch my very first video that I recorded on this channel four years ago and here's the thing I'm not gonna lie to you I'm gonna be really honest with you I actually um, have been tempted I felt like so many times deleting my previous videos from this channel especially those first few ones because they're awful they're terrible you know and uh, this morning I was just cringing as I was watching it but the graceful and the gracious part of me was also reminding myself that here's how far you've come in four years this is the amount of growth that can happen in four years so become that person that unlike me you're able to listen to yourself i do have to say nowadays i do listen to myself like just this morning youtube tends to suggest my videos to me and i remember i was watching the video that i published last week and i was really enjoying it like i was actually enjoying watching myself speak and listening to myself but it was not always that way so i want to encourage you to cultivate the habit of being able to listen to yourself so if you chair meetings at work or you run presentations or if ever you're asked to do a presentation at work or make an important contribution ask your friend to actually record you whilst you're speaking so that you can hear how you articulate your thoughts you'll be able to listen to how you rise and fall in terms of your tone you'll be able to see how strong the grasp of the topic you have and where it is you need to improve so listening to yourself will become a game changer in how you articulate your thoughts and in how you communicate lastly uh, when it comes to articulating your thoughts clearly is fall in love with continuous improvement so if you have a if you make a presentation and you fall flat on your face you stammer throughout it you forget the key concepts that you wanted to share or you freeze in front of everybody and it's just so embarrassing isn't it but I want you to fall in love with the fact that you were still there, you tried and you did your best. So long you're trying, you're improving, you're doing your best, then you're always growing. And I know I talk a lot about it because I love it so much. It's called the growth mindset, you know, having that mindset that just always looks at the positives. It's always like you're in love with failure because you know that the more you fail, the better you become. You're not afraid. You're not hanging behind, refusing to do presentations at work because you're afraid of the replications. So I want you to fall in love with continuous improvement. And you know what? In Japan, they call it the Kaizen theory. They believe even in their cars in always continuously improving so i'm curious you know me i'm always curious tell me one thing you're going to action take action on in this video in order for you to articulate your thoughts clearly and become a better communication do you think being a good communicator even matters yes or no let me know in the comments below and i'm going to ask you for a special favor if you enjoyed this video and you really are benefited from the tips that i shared with you today then can you just take a minute to share this video with another amazing person just like you my name is lorraine zeka i'll see you in the next episode